I'm Dr. Nat. I'm an aesthetic physician with 15 years of experience with advanced injectables. I reside in Dubai and I practice in the Middle East and the Gulf, where I train most doctors for these advanced injectable courses. Today we have our patient Christine. She is 31. She is 164 in height and weighs 58 kilos. She has a very nice waist and she is only interested in enhancing the butt. So first, it's very important for us to ask the patient what they want in terms of enhancement, volumizing, or lifting of the butt. Second thing we're going to do is examine the patient from different angles. So this is our first angle, where we detect mostly if the patient has any hip dips. In the case of Christine, we're not going to do any treatment because also she is not interested in volumizing this area. The second angle would be the 90 degrees angle, where we ask the patient to spread her hands. And then from this part, you can detect whether she has any protrusion or any uh, lack of volume from a lateral angle. In this case, Christine is interested in filling up this area where she lost the volume, and I will show you now the anatomy how to do it. The third angle is going to be the one from one in 180 degrees, where you get to see both sides of the butt, and this way we can assess exactly and symmetrically where we are going to be adding the butt fillers. First, we're going to set our you know, anatomy for the butt, where we palpate the ischial tuberosity, the fold, the upper border of the butt, where the patient is requesting to have a round shape and same thing we do on the other side. We are going to divide the butt into two squares with a line that is longitudinal and one that is horizontal from the mid of the butt. These markings are very important in terms of injection and it's very important for us to assess whether the patient is a good candidate for butt fillers in the first place. So there are two tests that I like to do. The first test we're going to do is the pinch test where we pinch the skin and we realize that she has more than five centimeters of soft tissue. And this is important. So if she is good to go to undergo butt fillers. The second test is the skin elasticity test where I basically spread the skin. And as you can see, she has good skin elasticity and she is good to go for butt fillers. Second marking we're going to do is divide the butt into three areas the medial area, the middle area, and the lateral area. The lateral area is going to be just lateral to the level of the trochanter. So this is my medial area, this is my middle area, and this is my lateral area. Next, we divide the butt into uh, three different regions. This is the upper, the central, and the lower one. So for our patient, as you can see, she is interested in doing uh, filling for this part where she has lost the volume. So simply we draw a circle of where we want to do the treatment. Where is going to be our point of entry? Our entry point is going to be two points, in fact, because I want to have some cross-linking when using the cannula. We use a 16-gauge cannula in the case of our product. This can be our fourth point of entry, and this can be the second point of entry where we cover all the surface of the area that we would like to inject. I'm going to be using today Infini Body Filler. It comes in a 10 ml syringe of cross-linked hyaluronic acid, 20 milligrams of hyaluronic acid. We're going to be using for the patient around six syringes, three on each side, and we're going to do for her local anesthesia. We're going to be using for her as well 16 gauge cannula. So guys, first thing we're going to do is make sure that the area is perfectly clean. So first I'm cleaning with betadine, then I will be cleaning with alcohol. One point I would like to emphasize is the positioning of the patient with regards to the physician. It's very important that while you are doing your injections, you feel comfortable doing that. So if you feel like seating position is better for you, you go ahead and you take a seating position. If a standing position is better for you, you stand. If having the patient higher is better for you, you go ahead and do it. Now we are done with the local anesthesia. We're going to do it on the other side and then right away we can start with the patient. You can see that when I squeeze the skin and I dissect with my entry point, it's much easier for me to go ahead and introduce my anesthesia same way in a fanning technique. You can sometimes ask the patient to sit on the side like this, stop right there because it's easier to inject. One, two, three. So first thing we're going to do is our entry point where I can also dissect a tiny bit before I inject my cannula so that once my cannula is introduced, it goes much easier. So 
If you cannot see the cannula, but you can feel it, you're in the right angle. See, I'm following the trajectory that I have already drawn for the patient. Now, we start injecting retrograde, change direction, inject retrograde, change direction, inject retrograde, change direction. And you can see how with one single entry point, you can actually cover a large area of injection of the filler. This is a filler that is, you know, perfectly safe. I like it because it gives no surprises, really. You don't see accumulation of the filler. You don't see any bumping. You don't uh, promise the patient one thing and deliver another. What you see is what you get. Plus, it's perfectly safe, so doctors feel comfortable using it. This is my second entry point. Again, I squeeze the skin like this because it will make my life easier. Then we go ahead, we introduce our cannula. See how the cannula now is so much easier to introduce? This is our second 10 ml. Now, if there's a point like this highest point of injection, which is the cross-linking of the two lines, if there's a point where I should inject most of the, my product, it will be this one, if I want to give the patient a lateral projection. You okay, ça va? Now, you can see how the patient already has a nice round shape and the projection of the butt. Next one. But now it's looking really, really, really round and nice. Now we will continue with our third entry point where we will inject the third needle. Lydia, I need you to hold this for me. Sometimes you can ask the assistance of the nurse where she stretches the skin for you and it will be so much easier for the product to penetrate. Now you can see how the shape is rounder. We will add still a little bit in this area and she's good to go. We will continue with our injection again with the fanning technique. Remove your hand really please. And as you can see, the result is instant. We don't have, we barely need to do any massage for the butt. Now you can see the round shape and the elevation. It's perfect, it's beautiful. And that's it. As you can see, we are just done with the first side. Perfectly round shape, very nice volume. We can always enhance, we can always add more, but this is a nice basic shape that the patient requested according to her body type. No bruising, no swelling, no pain, and no and, you know, condensation of the product, no accumulation of the product. Now, at the end of any uh, filler procedure that you do, I would advise you to make the patient stand up, and this way you can detect if there's any area that needs to be injected. In her case, we're going to inject this part for a better symmetry. So we ask the patient to stand up, stand straight, not move, and see, this is my cannula, and this is where I'm injecting my product. Also, she has an indentation here, and this is where I'm going to add the rest of my product, and she's done. Now, as you can see, I have asked my nurse to assist me in this position. You don't have to be doing everything by yourself. You can always ask somebody to assist you, especially in the pinching. For this side, you can remove your hand. For this side, I always ask the patient to bend one leg and to make the other one straight and to sleep on their side. So again, let's pinch using two hands. I already introduced my entry point, and this is my cannula where I introduce it. You see, the more you pinch, the easier it's going to be for the cannula to be introduced, and the easier it is for us to inject the patient. Again, the fanning technique, retrograde injection, and we're done. A little bit of massage at the end, and not too much. My second entry point is going to be from this side. This is how I cover all three areas. One, two, and three. Again. See how easy it is for us to go inside and just simply inject. Of course, you have to detect any areas of asymmetry and correct those for the patient as much as possible. The nice thing about this treatment is that the result is instant. So the patient gets to see how it looks 
right away and it only gets better over time over the course of three weeks because the filler is going to be spreading in a better way what are the do's and don'ts of course you cannot go to the beach you cannot tan no sauna no jacuzzi no steam no moroccan bath no uh, strenuous exercise i would advise them to start exercising after three weeks now with regards to um, prophylaxis i do give the patients prophylactic antibiotic they can take augmentin or they can take any other brand like Zinat for five days, the ID. We can give them medications for swelling. So as you can see in this part, this is how I'm going to be injecting the patient. So my area of injection is better if I stand from this side. Can you hold this for me, Vidi? And we leave, as usual, a tiny bit of product so that we can inject it while the patient is in a standing position. Again, I re-emphasize that I like Infini because what you see is what you get. Now we will ask the patient to stand up. See, it's minor, super minor massage. So as you can see, we made the patient stand up. So all this is filled. She has only an indentation at this level. And this is exactly where I'm going to go. So I go 45 degrees, pinch the skin because it's easier. This is where I'm injecting the patient in a retrograde way. And she's done. Thank you, Infini. All right, guys, now that we are done, sometimes I put a strong tape to hold everything together. But in her case, we didn't do too much, so I'm just going to place one together at the entry point. She can remove them tomorrow night.